Hi guys, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School and today we're going to be back in Photoshop looking at a tool called the Patch Tool. Now not, of, uh, not a lot of people are using the Patch Tool and they probably should. I love that tool. I use it a lot. Um, sometimes even more than the healing brush. Now the Patch Tool is basically a healing brush with a selection that you've made instead of brushing you're making a, a selection like the selection tool and then uh, dragging it over to where you want the, the effect to take place with. Now we're going to be looking at the patch tool today with two examples. One to remove bags under the eyes of a fashion model and the other to remove uh, unwanted clouds in a sky. So you don't necessarily always have to use it on skin. Um, it can be used elsewhere as well and I want to show you that too. All right, let's get right to it. First of all, where do we find the patch tool? Now, since it's a healing um, brush type of uh, tool, it's going to be under the healing brush icon. So going here into your menu, you see the healing brush icon here. Just click and hold. And third one down is called the patch tool. And it has the shape of a patch. And even your, uh, your cursor changes to that shape as well. Now, let's zoom in on the eyes here. All right, beautiful eyes. Um, but we want to remove those, uh, those patches under here, those wrinkles, because we are doing fashion. But we, I'm not the kind of guy that will remove everything. So I want to create a duplicate layer here by doing Control-J. And uh, what we're going to do is select. So it's basically just a selection. Click and hold and drag, like so. And then what you want to do, when inside your selection, you want to click and drag it out to where you want the textured effect to take place, like so. If I do Control D for deselect, you can see the effect it has. Now it's too much. Uh, and uh, you would have to go back in and get some of that texture back in. But what I prefer doing, and I'll show you that after I've done the other eye, is just to remove the opacity of that layer. So let's do the second eye here. And drag it down. Control D select. A little spot here, let's do that. A little spot here, let's do that. Deselect. And there we go. Now I just here into our layers palette, go to opacity and bring just some subtle lines back in like so. If we look at before and after, it's very very subtle but we still have some human-like qualities to the eyes without having it the Barbie look and we've just using the patch tool we've just uh, reduce the amount of patches under the eyes, the dark circles or the, the, the wrinkles under the eyes. And that's how I would use the patch tool on a fashion model. Now, let me just open the second image, which is a nature scene. I took recently in Mexico while I was doing a Mexico shoot. And the little thing that's bothering me about this is those little dark clouds spotted all over. So let me just zoom in at 100%. Select my patch tool, and then just select that patch, move it out, select, move it out. I missed a spot here, whoops. Move it out. So it's. I find it a lot easier to do than using the healing brush, clicking Alt, selecting, then brushing it in like so. Um, actually, it didn't work because I had to select and then just brushing it in like so I find it more time-consuming than using the patch tool where you can just go in select boom you can even do a bigger selection if you want move it out a smaller one here one for here and one for here and there we go now if I zoom back out there, I got rid of all these clouds. If I look at a before and after, before and after, 
It took me two and a half seconds with the patch tool to remove unwanted clouds in a nature scene. As you can see, it's a pretty easy tool to use. It's not that complicated. So go ahead and practice it and uh, tell me what you think. Yannick Chauvin signing out for Yannick's Photo School.